So the dream drama continues. Today on Twitter, hashtag drop dream started trending. And right now, dream and basically all of dream's friends are getting canceled. So today we're gonna dive into this hashtag and see what people are talking about there. Like the video for the ability to breathe. Trust me, it's really fun. And while you're down there liking, might as well also subscribe. We're trying to hit 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we're getting super close, but so is the end of the year. Anyways, this all started because Tommy had planned to do a stream with dream or something i don't know if it was today or in the near future but regardless a lot of people out there were talking about how tommy and dream are going to be on stream later and this is whenever people started tweeting with the hashtag drop dream saying that you shouldn't watch this stream this person said i don't care how attached to the dream smp lore you are do not watch that effing finale do not live tweet it this is coming from someone who had that story as my special interest you can do it hashtag drop dream now this person specifically does doesn't really give a lot of reasons why you shouldn't go watch this stream but tons of other tweets in this hashtag actually try to explain the reason that they don't want you to watch it this person said boycott the final lore stream don't watch it. Let the views drop lower than average and show just how many of Tommy's fans don't want to see content with Dream in it. Hashtag drop Dream. So their idea is to get Tommy's viewers to drop below average so then he realizes, hey, less people are watching, why is this? And eventually he'll figure out that it's because Dream specifically was part of his stream. And then I guess best case scenario for these people tweeting, uh, Tommy won't stream with Dream anymore because in theory Dream would take his numbers down. So yeah, they basically don't want any of these content creators to stream or like make videos or do any content creation with dream anymore like they want dream out of there basically now some people care more just about like the streams and dream not being in there while others are focused on more this person says this is more than just boycotting a stupid lore stream this is about content creators continuously showing full support towards an alleged group even when solid evidence had been provided against him hashtag drop dream now, this specific person does say a little bit more and we'll get into that in a second i just want to talk about what they just said so all the tweets under this hashtag are talking about the dream drama that happened a few weeks ago and if you don't know about that drama then you need to watch this video first before you watch this one or else nothing is going to make sense but anyways there were allegations against dream saying that he was a groomer but if we look at the evidence provided the dms aren't anything really like too sad it's just them talking back and forth very casually however one of the alleged victims claimed that dream actually sent her uh, naughty pictures but there was no proof for that because they claimed that snapchat auto deleted all of their messages but what i don't understand is that there were a bunch of people tweeting at amanda who is the victim we're talking about here and they showed her a way they were able to look at your snapchat chat archives and it is a very easy process to do however despite all of the tweets telling her about this she never did it anyways dream said in his response that he's taking legal action and so did amanda so that's kind of where the situation is at right now i know some of you may have wanted an update so that's kind of just where we are so whenever this person is saying that there's solid evidence against dream honestly the evidence isn't really that solid and the evidence that is solid in that dream actually himself confirmed isn't that bad like there's not much there but like i said this is all going to be figured out in court nothing anybody on the internet can do like anymore at all trying to de-platform dream's friends because that they're uh, still friends with him it's kind of ridiculous but i mean say whatever you want i guess and then that person continued on to say even if cc's decided to drop dream after this gets trending i am still not going to support anyone who is actively interacting with dream after the allegations were brought forward it is obvious that these people don't care about victims only their reputations so now this person is saying anybody out there who still made videos with dream who still interacted in any way with him after the allegations came out they won't support them which I think is a bit much you know maybe I'd get it if they were still making videos and supporting dream after like everything was confirmed but nothing has been confirmed yet and the evidence that the alleged victims of dream have come out with are absolutely all over the place or it's just not anything damning at all really like there really just isn't enough to work with right now this next person says hashtag drop dream I'm not watching the lore finale and you shouldn't either stop making content with a groomer stop treating this as cancel culture and actually look into the literal crime he committed stop valuing reputation over dropping a predator so this person is just flat out calling him a group 
groomer. They don't need any proof. They don't need any confirmation. He's just a groomer to them instantly. It's kind of hypocritical for this person to say, stop treating this as cancel culture because they're literally tweeting under this hashtag, which is all cancel culture. They also say that he committed a literal crime, but the only thing that is confirmed is the messages like on Instagram and Twitter. And both of those are just like nothing. <laughs> it is just very casual conversation, nothing dirty or anything like that. I think they have like a conversation in one of them about like what kind of music they listen to. And then they say, Merry Christmas like months later and that's about it so i don't know how this person is able to confidently say that he's committed a literal crime we then have another twitter user saying sharing this post i saw on tumblr again because it describes my feelings on ccs who still need to hashtag drop dream and they attach this photo of a tumblr post that says i understand people being like no cc has an obligation to talk about everything with dream but he permeates this sphere he is the face of minecraft youtube and streaming and has so so much power even outside of that this isn't only a legal matter of some guy who potentially grew a 17 year old that is being taken to court this is also a matter of one of the most powerful and popular streamers is messaging his fans in an overly friend flirty way and considering these streamers made talking about amber heard and johnny depp's trial the fucking meta of the week not too long ago i think they can take a second to be like hey this is up and not okay outside of just legal issues that they can't talk about because as of right now dream still has massive influence and zero fucking pushback from anyone except people who already hated him or ex fans who are disappointed and fucking pissed so like I said, them saying like that Dream is confirmed to be messaging in a flirty way is just like not true. The messages aren't flirty at all. I paused and read every single message in all of the videos that were uploaded as evidence. Like I literally read everything. There is nothing flirty there. Casual conversation, like I've said a plenty of times in this video. I mean, it's quite obvious that a lot of these people tweeting or writing these posts like this haven't really looked into the situation that deep. I'm telling you guys right now, I've looked at absolutely everything. I've read everything there's just not a lot there and i'm open to hear or see or read more evidence i'm all for having more trust in victims but whenever an alleged victim has a bunch of inconsistencies in their stories there's things where they're lying about their age or they don't even know how old they are basically it seems like sometimes and they don't have any direct evidence to what they're actually talking about even whenever they're able to provide it and we're told how to provide it they still don't like uh, it's just all very shady and it is just quite honestly hard to believe and yeah, basically this whole situation is summed up by this person. When CMC was called out for grooming, he completely lost his platform overnight. When James Charles was called out, all Dream SMP members cut ties with him immediately. But once it's your close friend grooming victims, don't matter. Hashtag drop Dream. Now, I don't know who CMC is, nor do I know what he did. But I do know James Charles, and I do know that there was actual concrete evidence with the James Charles situation that happened. And I'm pretty sure James, like, confirmed it and apologized. So yeah, it makes sense for them to drop him and cut ties because what he did was wrong and i'm pretty sure that james himself admitted that he did it the difference is here is that nothing is confirmed at all and it's very hard to confirm it they then reply and say what will it take for them to realize he's a sh person well i feel like dreams friends know dream a lot better than consumers of his content or people who just read random shit on twitter and believe it instantly regardless though like we've said seven billion times in this video nothing has been proven at all so why should they just stop being friends with him they don't have a reason to nor should they be obligated to so yeah that's a hashtag drop dream if i haven't seen enough i got you check out this video right here i'll see you over there